Evening, we begin tonight with a developing story. The bodies of the Marines and a sailor missing after a training accident off the coast of San Clemente Island last week have now been found. The amphibious assault vehicle that sank was also located on the sea floor. Fox 5's Liberty Zabala joins us live from Camp Pendleton with what's next. Liberty. Well, Kathleen, many families are in mourning tonight, and even the governor ordered flags to fly at half staff to honor the fallen. Newly released photos show the recovery efforts by the Marine Corps and the U.S. Navy. They were able to locate the sunken amphibious assault vehicle, or AAV, and confirm that human remains were inside. I felt for the family, you know. I can't imagine what it would be like. Marine veteran Evan Leal knows the family of fallen Private First Class Brian Baltiera. He launched a GoFundMe page to help the family. Yeah, you know, as a Marine, I just kind of felt like I had to do something. The Marines say the amphibious assault vehicle sank to the depth of 385 feet after it began taking on water during a routine training off the coast of San Clemente Island. Marine veteran Rick Noda describes training in the AAVs during Desert Storm. It is a steel shut door. I mean, literally, when that door closes, it seals. So when you dr jump into the water, you all you hear is the heat and the diesel and the smell. And we used to think floating coffin because if one thing goes wrong, goes right to the ground. General David Berger has ordered the inspection of all AAVs across the fleet. I've directed an immediate suspension of amphibious assault vehicle water operations until the causal factors of this mishap are better understood. Meanwhile, NOTA hopes recovering the AAV and the bodies can bring the families some closure. As a military veteran, the closure that the family members get, that closure is super important. Meanwhile, two Marines are at the hospital in critical but stable condition. For now, live here at Camp Pendleton, Liberty Zabala, Fox 5 News.